Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome back to the Angmar campaign. This is the 8th episode and we are currently sieging down Bari Donyak, which is the capital of the Northern Dundine. Uh, we are also going to attack Only Captain Floy the with the Witch King. And I have made a decision, I have moved Afanasir all the way to the Black Gate to deliver the One Ring. And I... I did it because a lot of you guys wanted him to go there as well. I just thought we would never be able to get to Mother uh, in 20 turns because there's just so many obstacles in the way and it's just going to cause us w um, or make us at war with everyone. It's just not a very well thought of script. Like it's fun for some factions like Isengard and Mother, but uh, for other factions it's usually it carries a lot of problems. Now, Captain Floy, I'm going to attack him uh, because I want to attack Barketta with the Witch King. So they actually got the Ballista. They got some Eredluin Pikemen. We have already seen them. Firebeard Warriors. These guys are dual wielding Axemen, which is army piercing. Looks like a pretty strong unit. Eredluin Militia. Yeah, it's just a trash army to be honest. We're just going to snipe out the general, bring down the ballista, and we have a massive cavalry force, so we should be able to deal with these guys. Uh, yeah, we did actually see a dwarven battle last episode, and I would rather focus this episode on some real battles against the dwarves, not like this pitiful battle right here. So I will see you after battle. They were utterly slaughtered, we well, lost 3%. We just use our Javis quite efficiently, and when the dwarves don't have a proper lead ship, they will as most other factions just suck and we just were able to surround them to be honest they just sent one on one unit and a dwarven army without archers is perfect for our warg uh, skirmishes there we go 56 lost yeah witch king is really carrying this team he can definitely kill a lot of dwarves because of his armor piercing I'm definitely looking forward to getting more cavalry like him after Barak's event has hit, which could potentially happen today. It kind of depends. Now, I actually took out Gobedrine off camera just because it was Rebels. It didn't really matter. But it actually looks like there is another region over here uh, which we have not taken. Now we're going to go straight for Barketta. We shall slaughter them yeah, let's just adopt him to the family. Give him some Wraith babies and such. Let's see. <laughs> wow, he's suddenly the son of Hunwon. And he's 20 years old. That's just so weird. We should be much higher on this. Ah, we can actually... Uh, no targets is actually worth it though. Yes. An order. Okay, I'm just going to let these guys wait one more turn and see what will happen. It's probably going to be a freebie. Yes. Get ready for We're going to one. move these guys west after this uh, turn. Yes, my lord. Let's get another general, Harald. You're going to lead this army. Making camp here. Even though it would probably be much wiser to use Agendar or so. He's just stationed down here, not really doing anything. An order. Yes. I suppose it's okay. An order. Let's end the turn. Let's see what will happen with the ring. If it will just be delivered. Ah, ah yes. <laughs> now the capital of the Dundine is down. The has fallen. And they are really the struggling at this point. I think they only have Barketta left, so only one settlement remaining. This is going to be nice. So uh, I posted a lore video yesterday, please go and check it out if you haven't. Uh, it's quite interesting and it's discussing some lore about the Second Age series. I'm really much looking forward for those series. It's probably going to be released in 2021, so it's still a while. Oh, we actually didn't got that weird quest. Alright. 
Now we have delivered the ring to Sauron. Sauron regains the one ring. The one ring finally returned to its master. Sauron's victory shall be so complete that none can foresee the end of it while this world lasts. Wow, cool. Perfect, perfect. Ah, <laughs> Mordor is at war with everyone now. That's kind of cool. Alright, did we get any money for it or something? It looks like we got a lot of money. I'm not sure. No, it just looks like we are getting money from diplomacy tributes. Ah, oh, we might have get, gotten 10,000 for that. I'm not quite sure. I believe yes. we have. Now, Captain Hallas, we I should probably deal with him before we move on. Would you wish to speak to me? Let's get a shrine up here. Yeah. And let's start besieging Barketa. Moving to crush the enemy. Besieging okay, the nice. Gunvarn. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's just terribly. Alright. I'm going to wait a little bit with that battle. Now, I'm just going to fight these guys off camera and I'll be right back. That was complete slaughter. I think the Barrow Whites only lost that one Barrow White. That's really surprising, actually. I guess the, the Firebeard Warders have a lot of armor. Or at least half their armor. Or half their defense that comes from the armor, at least. Now, Hunwan is just going to guard Anuminas, our wraith. Meanwhile, the Witch King and Lord Skuld and Harald will move on to uh, the Dwarves of Erdluin. We're going to take them out first and then Lindon is going to fall uh, to last. Because it's not long to meet one at all. We have taken so much uh, land already, or territory. It's probably a better word for it. Now, Captain Hallas. Oh, yeah, we had to deal with him, of course. Ah, they will actually be even more happy. That's just nice. Now, let's bring out everyone except you. And you're going to be happy. They got some good units. I will only address you. Your will, my lord. I'm almost tempted to just leave and then let these guys siege out. Or, yeah, it's probably much better to let get rid of them now. It's just a very boring battle to play, of course. Now, these forts are kind of um, filled up now, which is very nice. Now, let's get some more guys out of there. And we do have more troops on their way. These guys can probably head up. They they will actually be needed on the western front, so just let's just send them all the way over there. I suppose Drangu could actually lead this army instead of Harald. That would actually be much more useful as well. Let's get him up here. Alright, I'll have to deal with these buggers. Thing is, they are going to be able to hold up a quite a good defense. But we do have a lot of good units. I'm just going to get rid of them. Yeah. That's probably going to be more profitable, to be honest. Alright, just didn't really want to fight the battle. We lost a lot of snow arc spears. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's uh, get at it, boys. This region is actually complete. There is still a region here. We should just get it in the our middle of our lands. There is a region that I wasn't even aware of that existed. Let's get the... Perhaps... Let's get the Lord Sword so that we can just recruit a lot of units once the backs went hit. Or actually, I'm going to save it. Uh, the backs went is going to hit any time now and I just really want to be able to build there. Uh, when it hits. Oh, we can get ballistas here now. That's nice. Uh, 
Why not? Let's get the war camp here as well. In the next turn, you should probably build some leather worker, I suppose. That's uh, all right. Okay, now Afanasir. I'll have to teleport you all the way back again. So I'm going to show you how this works. So you just type in show cursor stat and it will show the position of where your cursor is. And then move character Afanasir 168. 372 and there he is Orders. actually these barrel whites are right here so we want to be a little bit careful Erecting a watchtower. all right but that was one ring delivered <laughs> in Orders. quite a fast manner we can go no and this land is still not taken Lindon is probably going to take in and are going to start bordering us It's not going to be that long until we can start recruiting units here. So I'm just going to get the Hillman camp right after this building. I can greet you, but not serve you. All right, let's end the turn. Let's see how our push works out. It would be nice to have the Northern Dundayan out of the way. That's them completely gone. And then we can focus all our attention on the Dwarves of Eredruin and just sweep over them in a in a fast at a fast pace and then it's only Lindon left in Eredor except for Enerwaith and the Dun Landings but they can be taken in a couple of turns when we really want to the Dunedain stand it looks like they might have gotten a last stand script where some large army Spawns, I'm not really sure. I have never defeated the Dunedain before just because I'm not really playing any factions where it's necessary I suppose we'll just have to look out for it Not quite a glow got something built over here Let's just get the grain exchange more money is always useful Okay, the Witch King. An order. I will only address you. Yes. All right, Drangu, you go up here. An order. Lord Skilled. I believe there is some kind of settlement around here, and probably one around here, and probably one here, and then there's one here and here. I believe. I, I'm not too certain. Never played as the Dwarves of Eredun either. Actually, these guys go to the fort. We can actually just recruit as many units as we can here. Just place them in the forts. I'm building the Great Hall here. How much culture do we have? 38, all right, that's nice. It's not very long until we can get the late game units. If you're really efficient this episode, we could even get them this episode. That would have been awesome. Now let's get some more of these guys for the front against the blue, the dwarves of Edluin. I keep saying the blue dwarves. Uh, and let's just scout out this area as well. Your will, my lord. Yeah, let's get two more of those as well. We just need to have you seek an audience? the necessary troops Would you wish to speak when that time to comes. Let's just send these guys out. These guys I'm actually going to send down there and just check out that place. And these guys are going to the front. Alright, let's end the turn. I'm okay with just sieging out the Dundain. It's just filthy battles. But we will have three generals which makes large pushes. So I think we can bring down the dwarves pretty fast. If they do not have very large forces. Which they potentially could have. Like, these guys are no joke, but as long as we have our cavalry, we'll be fine. And we can even take losses in 
a huge loss is in one of our armies. And we'll still have two other armies, which just walks over these wars. Oh yeah, the barracks don't have actually hit now. So let's get the... Ah, uh, here's the Mount Graham stables. And here's the barracks. Uh, I'm going to go for the barracks just because I want to see these new units. But we're going to build stuff everywhere. New mission, Furost. Let's see where that is. That's probably one of the... Yeah, it's right here. An order. Yes. Oh, we will actually be able to crush these guys. I'm just going to bring this down with that army alone. And Lord Skilled, you're just going to head, head into the lands. Which can just keep sieging. You guys follow right after him. We can't really build. We need a town guard first before we can start getting proper units from here. And here we can actually get. No, we still haven't upgraded these places. We really need to get this. Ah, we can actually get one more bar white from these guys, from this building. How much culture? We're actually fine at the time being. Or why not? It's cool to get more bar whites. They're definitely a cool unit. In Bree. We do already have... Can't really see... Am I completely blind? Oh yeah, we're building the town guard now. Wow. Oh, they actually have a last stack army, which just spawned. Wow, we're literally fucked. Alright, if we actually bring down Barketa now... I don't think the Dundain can do anything, so we definitely need to take them down now because the loud stack army just spawned and they're probably having a very strong army. Well, that's lucky that we saw that in time. That could have been a potential disaster. Now in Imladris I want to get some elites as well. So I'm going to cancel this out. Hillman Barracks. Oh we can get the Huskars and Warriors now. That's cool. But we definitely go want to go for this. Or actually the Warg. Oh yeah we haven't built it. I'm going to go for the barracks here as well. This place needs to upgrade before we can get trolls. That's such a bummer. Finas Drunin. Let's get the Hillman Barracks. Thirduin, still a while. We have got some more troops here. She can send to some kind of fort, I suppose. Oh, these guys are probably going to be attacked now. Should have thought about that. Alright, so now we're at least building in a lot of nice places. What about these places? We can get the Hillman backs here as well. Let's queue it up. And here as well. My lord. Yes. I'm almost tempted to go for these Mount Graham stables though. These guys are very powerful. Let's just check the building browser. Army barracks. Ah, we'll get the North Garden Dark Place. No, we're definitely going to go for this. It's going to be quite exciting. Orders. No fool. All right, so Barketa. I'm almost tempted to alter all this, but that's not going to be a nice situation. It's only three to one. All right, I will fight this off camera. I don't think this is a very exciting battle. Sneakily, I just won on time. Uh, let's end the battle. This is a 486 victory. lost. Just lost. A um, lot of trash. But we just had to. Because that army 
in the middle of uh, Eridona, which is headed for Osul, is just going to be way too powerful for us. So let's just hope that they rebel and that we don't have to face them for a, quite a long time. Because I think the Northern Dunan is utterly destroyed now. This should be. Exterminate. Victory. Yeah, they are destroyed. It Victory. worked out. Very easy. Here they gone. Alright, I'll have to disband these guys because they are going to be attacked. But that's awesome. That's another chapter ended. The Northern Dunan is gone. Let's get this one. And now let's just bring... That's going to be fine because I just Move. exterminated it. Nothing. Oh, they are already here. Let's see. Yeah, we can't really see much here. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Can we recruit more here? Not yet. It will be nice with the town guard. Let's get the garrison quarters here. Or actually, we might want to get some wargs, actually. The culture requirements for Angmar is very, very low, so it's it's kind of good. Let's get the ballista maker here, just because we got some extra cash. Cash. Wow, what was that? All right, let's get these guys over here. And that's basically is it. Basically, it isn't it. All right, here we are going to get Mount Graham stables. All right, that's nice. And in Shadun. Oh yeah, this is already 50%. We'll just have to wait it out. We'll get the barracks after after a while. These guys we can recruit because we're making a lot of money. Let's hope they sally out at Furos. Because we have a cavalry force ready to assault those dwarves. Cray Havens are trying to negotiate with them. We might want to leave uh, Drango out of that army, just so that they will actually want to sally out. Let's check how many turns it takes to siege them out though. Independent realms. Now school return to Mordor. Alright, what I'm going to do is actually take a peek over in Mordor and see what Sauron is doing. Toggle foe. Jesus. And where is Sauron? Is Sauron the Cunning. He has a very large stack. Gondor is definitely... Yeah, they're going to lose in not very long. If we look at the map, the Enervath have taken a lot. Uh, Rune is doing quite... Yeah, it's just a pretty normal map, to be honest. How is Gundabad doing? They are not holding on Asana. They're just sending small sex. They have taken Rackeberg and Framsburg. Alright, interesting. Recruitment in Barkeleg. Let's find Barkeleg. You are supposed to go here first. Get ready for fighting. Or, yes. All right, we got a lot uh, of shit built, and we're the most advanced faction, and we are supposed to be almost dead. Okay, I'm just going to send. These guys are going to take down Athelin. These guys will stream into the land. They can only hold out for three turns. I'm actually just tempted to let these guys stay in that army. Yeah, we should be able to bring them down. Now let's just head out and see what they got. Looks very empty so far. Captain Nali will have to be dealt with. He has just gone straight past us. We can actually get Barrow Whites here already. Uh, we actually need to get some... We don't actually have any recruitment slots. Yeah, we need to get this one first. 
No, we get need to get the meeting hall. Let's get the meeting hall. And then the town guy. Wow, that's weird. We're now building Mount Graham stables here. That's awesome. Lord skills on his way. Captain Nali. Another boring army to fight. I'll have to fight in them off camera and I'll be right back. We crushed them. I did a little micromanagement mistake in the end. We lost like 30 works. That was very unnecessary. And these guys we haven't captured either. But it was still very easy. Lost 3% <laughs> once again. Actually. These guys are not going to return either. We were just brought down. 30. Alright. There we go. So I must confess I'm really happy about your comments lately. Uh, a lot of you guys are telling me I'm doing some nice work and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, it's really giving me motivation. And I've just been loving uploading on a daily basis lately. However, uh, it's like one month to my when my exam starts. So I have to start uploading um, every second day in not too long. It's simply how life is. But uh, during the summer I'm going to keep uploading as often as I can. Uh, of course, I'm still going to upload on a daily basis for a little while. Oh, here's their new settlement. Garth Heligoff. Uh, the dwarves just doesn't look like... They are ready for this. Frerin? No, that's not really an army. They have taken Mitchell Delving now though. However, I'm just going to keep it for now. Oh, they're actually going to be able to take Hobbiton. Uh, do I have any reinforcement at all? Uh, these guys. That might have been a mistake. Still a while until we can recruit from here. The Barrow Downs, cool. We actually have free upkeep on one unit, but that's a fun as here. Bree is really wealthy, let's uh, keep that going. Hedegon is not really going to be able to do anything. An Can't really start you. sieging out any places. Alright, are we just to end the turn? I believe so. An order. No fool. We're not going to assault these guys, we're going to let them sally out, and then we'll crush them. Hopefully they will attack now. I am tempted to go for Gundabara in not too long. Yeah, they sallied out. Alright, I guess I could show this battle, I haven't shown a lot of battles today. Just show how some micromanagement I'll see on the battlefield. Alright, so this is Furost. Looks like a Dundan city, that's that's cool. Now we just really want to give them as many Javis as possible. So I'm just going to run them over here. They do have their arrow towers here, but I don't know if they are activated. And I really just want to try to get as many Javis in when they are all together here. These guys are a bit bugged. Yeah, they do actually have arrow towers here. So we should definitely just trick them out on the fields. I'm just going to spend all the arrows I can with Drango first. Just look at him himself. He's just able to get tons of kills. Now, if you're just keeping like this with the skirmish mode and this, he will just move around perfectly. And that's really what you want. Now we're going to do the same with these guys. We're going to give them some Javis. And you're going to see how powerful... Um, these works are going to be, especially if we hit them in the back and such. Now, one of these units are already out of ammo, so we're just going to run them over here. Now, these guys are actually out of ammo as well. So, what we want to do now is just take this unit from two sides, and that should be quite deadly to these dwarves. And Drango will just keep doing what he's doing. It's, it's working out nicely. And that's a nice charge. And now, Hammer and Anvil, they're getting crushed. Utterly crushed. We are losing a couple of wards. It, it, it will be fine though. 
All right, let's go for another charge. Always want to just keep charging. Oh, their their general is already dead. Let's just charge these guys. They will rot any minute. Now these pikemen will have to deal with from three sides because they are very good against cavalry. Alright, let's get them on three different sides. The general is dead. Let's get Drango here, let's get these guys here. We're probably going to take a couple of losses now. But they could very much route very quickly. <laughs> and it looks like it's going to be an absolute slaughter. However, now we're going to take a couple of losses. That's it. That's very effective. Lost 23, killed them all. And that's why I want to use Javelin Wargs against the Dwarves. I've been thinking much about the Dwarves lately though. I am tempted to start, when I'm starting a new campaign, to play some Dwarves. I've played the Elves, I've played um, Men, but I've not played Dwarves yet. And I've also played Orcs now. So I guess they're next up in the queue. I'm thinking about it at least, and if so, probably Erebor is the most Victory! interesting for me. Er Erluin is just us. way too easy. Castle Doom is kind of cool, but you like don't really have any very close enemies. You have, of course, to get rid of the whole mountain range, which could be potentially very cool. But after that, it's kind of limited. With the Dwarves of Erebor, you can go for both Ruin. And you can go for Gundabad and the Goblins of Moria. So it's a more long lasting campaign. And in the end you can go for Mordor. Alright. We got just some coins. That's nice. New mission. Th oh, it's a freaking invasion. That's very boring. Probably just going to bring one general. I found us here. You're going to go with... These guys, you're going to join the invasion. Oh, we need some more. You know what? I'm just going to ignore the invasion. I gave the Dark Lord the one ring. He can suck my dick if uh, he becomes mad now. Jesus. All right, heal his post. Sorry for language. And now. Let's just uh, leave behind some healmen. That should be more than sufficient. Shall your in these lands. And there we go. Now we're already headed on our way. Three to just is trying to escape. He sees that the downfall is upon him. Right, Garth Heligoth is going down. Let's go down here. Can't really recruit enough around here. Uh, oh, they do have some kind of resistance here. We need to bring some more units down. Let's get some of these guys as well. Let's just uh, merge these guys together. And I suppose these guys could come in over here as well. With these guys. Still can't build anything here. Still going to take a while until it's upgraded. Now they're doing fine. Cometh Brin. Ah, we can get the barracks. And we can get the Hillman barracks. Let's get the barracks. What about Tharth? We can just get this because we have some extra coins, I suppose. Or right, let's just save it. It's, we're going to need it in not too long. I'm just really looking forward to these new units. Alright, let's just keep them units coming. I am going to fight the battles on camera um, when we siege out the capitals of the um, Dwarves of Eredluin. Oh wow, they're really they're really coming now, aren't they? 
the Witch King might be needed just to hold our lands in in check, to be honest. And now, yeah, it looks like they are coming now. Finally, they are waking up. The dwarves' inner fury can be devastating. But we're just going to let them, we're just going to siege them out and let them attack us, I suppose. However, uh, is Garth Helgoth a dwarven castle? It would be nice to see some dwarven castles as well. Aradunheim. Oh, yeah. You did actually attack. I'm just going to escape from that. We can go no further oh no, this is such a boring battle. Alright, I'll have to deal with it. Let's just see. We are going to win it because they got no... Wow, Rudar Warriors are actually two-handed axes and they have missile attack of 10. Wow, that's very surprising. I suppose we should get them. They come from the Rudar barracks or the Hillman barracks. All right, that's cool. Well, uh, I will fight this battle of camera. I'll be right back. They were utterly destroyed. It was no big deal, to be honest. This cavalry is just all we need. I'll get these. Oh, Jesus. Let's take a look at these guys, though. They look pretty cool, and they're going to be deadly against the dwarves. If we can get them in time, though. These dwarves, I have noticed, sometimes struggles with capturing these guys. Which is rather unfortunate. But it's okay. Let's just exit. This is a clear now we probably don't need any reinforcements to take down Athelin. But it's completely fine. We'll just have... A, we can just send more troops to the Western Front anyways. Which will be needed in the long run. Because the dwarves I know... So far it has been a walkover. But when they start punching out some real elites. We're going to struggle big time. But uh, it looks like these Rudar units will actually be the perfect building to build. Because we'll get both uh, armor piercing. Oh, I'm actually tempted to adopt this guy. Or actually not. I'm going to drop it. Where is Athelin? It's here, all right. Ah, they actually have some proper units here. But that's fine. Let's just send these guys here. You as well. Three, the just. Diplomatic. Ah, Orcs of Gundabad is just... Oh no, the landings and draws of Eldruin, this could very much backfire us on us. Yeah, Hobbiton might very well be empty in or get completely rushed in not too long. We need to start recruiting units here, that's excellent. And we do have some free upkeep here as well. Now I'm tempted to have these guys just actually just stationed in this fort. They will be needed for this defense. I'm only here to fight the young. An order. I'll wrap up your head and spit on your neck. Yes. Order. Yes. An order. Now Drango. Victory! Yes. An order. I suppose we should just go, no go straight for Gu Gusan Guhusano. Can't really pronounce that, can I? For Hamgathol. And that's a fortress. They just completely left these settlements. Like, there's like no people here. It's just so weird. Alright, just go here and claim it. In the name of Sauron. Garrison quarters. Do we have enough? Not yet. Let's get the meeting hall first and then garrison quarters. Is there anything else I need to build? Ah, oh, just look at these done landings. They're like right outside. Just ready to assault this place. How much upkeep can we have here? Two there. And... One here, alright. We have actually... 
swap with Afanos here. It's much more useful to have in that settlement. Now these guys are just standing right outside of Sul. And these guys look like they're at the brink of actually attacking us. This is kind of scary now. Uh, let's see how many. Two plus. That's it. Alright, two units. I suppose we should get some wargs here going. Only one unit here. Well, we do anyways have Imladris, which will be able to pull a lot of troops out of in not too long. Kemeth, Brynn as well. Morgatharf is still just dead. Mokvarglaw. Three turns, that's not long, guys. Let's get these wargs. Let's pump out these units. Send them to the west. And here we'll get the meeting hall. And then some Shrine of Melkor. Actually, we want to get that one culture first. And then we'll get the Hillman camp. Lord Skilled, uh, can if you attack three, will they go for the bait? It's a solid garrison. Ah, they will not. That's unfortunate. To Monsahar nobles. All right, we're going to have to see them out then. These armies will wreak some havoc. Meanwhile, all right, nice. And then the capital is over here, I think. And we're still making a solid amount of money. Now, please leave some feedback if you would have been interested in seeing some action from Erebor. I think that would be very interesting. Even though it can be a bit easy sometimes. It's not a very difficult campaign because it's after all dwarves. I also like the Varags of Khan, but of course Arakir is currently playing it. So that would also be... That would not probably be optimal. I really want to play Mordor as well, but I'm definitely going to wait until the next update when they get uh, some kind of dark beacon of hope system. Oh, these guys we're going to get in not too long. They're really cool. Alright, I will fight this battle of camera and I'll be right back. There we go. Easy battle. And now there's no hole in our... In the land of Eredor. Or in the land of Angmar, should we probably say now, at this point. Lady Galadriel and Celeborn. Celeborn is indeed fighting in the battles um, during the siege or sack of Eregan, which I covered in the lore video, and I didn't know that before I started reading about it, and it's really interesting. Uh, let's sack them. Nice. All right. Now, gun. Yegal loot. As you wish. An order. I'll wrap up your head. What if you? Yeah, you're not going to be able to. Ah, uh, jeez. All right, let's just bring Hunwan one over there and keep the siege up with the uh, Drango. That's rather useful. It's still just sending small pathetic armies, and here the cap capital is. Thorin's Halls with Clan Lord Gorda just Gabilgathol Guard. To Monsaha nobles. We're going to take them from the north first though. Fahamgathol will fall first. And at the same time the Hosanar will fall. We got the Bear Whites now. Very useful. Let's perhaps bring out one unit just to get free upkeep. Oh, we're not going to get free upkeep on them, are we? Oh yeah, we will not actually get free upkeep on them. My loss. These guys are like ready to attack us at any moment. 
forces about, eh? My lord. I just want to really reinforce this place. Just in case these buggers decide they want to attack us. I'm almost certain that they want to attack us as well. Let's get some Williams up here. We do have all these forts loaded though. Let's just get this up and going. I suppose we have time to end one more turn. Just to come a bit closer to this being built for the next episode. And I have noticed that a lot of you guys prefer the Angmar campaign. And I understand that they are a new faction of course. But I think the Isengard campaign is going to be very interesting forward because of the Nazkai which is going to spawn in the next episode. So look forward to that. It's going to be very interesting. Hobbiton, no biggie. Barketa building stuff. Body Doniak building stuff. Let's get garrison quarters. And here we're going to get the Darth Pass paths. Land clearance. Killman camp. I suppose we could get that first. We need to be able to recruit more units here actually. Let's get the war camp first. Alright, Drango can handle yes. these guys. Lord Skill will handle this. Yes. And the Witch King himself could probably just attack this and make them sell out. My Lord. But they, they're struggling now. And Mithlon will not be... They will not hold out long after we have taken down these guys. It's only the blue... Like, their Lune is only shield that Mithlon got against us now. Now it's only about time before the Dun Endings attack, since they allied with the Joseph Vered Luin. I don't see why they have changed sides when they know that Sauron is in the world and is ready to take on and bring down the free peoples of Middle Earth. That's such a stupid strategy. <laughs> Goblins still doing their thing. I definitely do want to take down Gundabad though, because I want to recruit the Snow Trolls. And that's the only trolls we're going to get as this faction, I believe. Alright. Our, our money is just stacking up. Gift, nice. Ah, we got a lot of stuff built. In Shadun, we're now finally going to be able to build this stuff. Alright, let's just head these walls out. Get ready for We're still making 10,000 solid. My lord. Orders. As you wish. Orders. By your command, we can go no further today. Your will. As you wish. We'll make camp yet. I look forward. I'm only Yeah, I'm just going to let the Drangle siege these guys out. Yes. Yes. Just for Hamgathol. Let's see, there we go. Clan Herald Grind, what does he got? Broad Bead ba Marksman, they are very excellent crossbow units. I believe they're one of the fastest or they have the furthest range. I can't really remember. They're probably going to get uh, a how This settlement is making solid yes. money. Your head and, and order. Ah, <laughs> they Trust went the right for the bait. Nar the Noble. Does we. Is there any new units now? Still the old. I'm going to bring them down and hopefully we can see the Siege of Fahamgathol or not. That's probably going to be for next episode. I'll quickly defeat this battle and see how much time I got left. This pretty much sums up the battle. I just sent in some witches in the end. Just to get rid of these guys in time. But the Witch King's bodyguard is just ridiculously OP. Every charge they got against these dwarves are just so fatal. Right, let's get these guys out of there. Let the Witch King clean up. These armor piercing beasts. 
combined with the witches, will win us this settlement. And I'm honestly just going to head straight for Thorin's horse now with this army. I think that's just okay. They might they might get the last stack army or last stand army. However, we could just pull out if we need to and then siege them out with our multiple armies if needed. So I think we're going to be fine. And there we go. The horse are now. Sack the place. It's very wealthy indeed. And yeah, they have a lot of stuff built here already. Let's just get the barracks after this. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, or we definitely want to get more culture here, of course. We can't move much this turn anyways. And he had these probably marksmen. I'm tempted to try this out. See if he will actually go out then. We should be able to deal with them then. I think they will absolutely slaughter these guys though. They don't have a lot of defense. But they should... We, we haven't even seen them in battle yet. Let's just place them right behind. Yeah, things are going very nicely here now. Can actually attack them. It's not going to be worth it. But we are going to see the battle for Thorin's Falls. I do want to see that battle. Alright, let's just end one more turn and see what will happen. Maybe we'll get one more battle. Why not? We're making so much money, we can afford some stuff here. Oh, one more turn. We'll be able to start recruiting units this episode, which is very cool. And we'll hopefully see them next episode in battle. But I'm going to upgrade the barracks right away. Oh, they're going to attack us. All right, well, then the episode will end here. And they do have 800 reinforcements. They're not going to be able to do this, though. We do have a very nice force. We actually have four cavalry. All right, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this push into the Dwarven lands, even though, honestly, it's just been too easy. They haven't been pushing out those stacks we want them to push out. I am going to fight the battle on Thorin Souls, though, so that we see some real siege battle. Because we just haven't been able to see that yet. Sadly. Now the Dunlendings could attack us at any point now. Which could spice things up quite a bit. Doesn't look... Yeah, it actually looks like they bother off. And after that, Lindon will fall. Mithlon is going to be the next target after we have taken out the Dwarves of Edeluin. So things are spicy. But uh, do check out the Isengard episode tomorrow. We are going to finally get some Nazgul and use the, one of the best units in the game, the Nazgai. They can throw Nafta bombs. That's going to be very cool. So subscribe, like the video if you like the video. Support me with Patreon if you want. And I'll see you guys for the next episodes.